What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and to another Outriders video. Every once in a while you come across a build in this game that makes you go, oh my god, because it just works that well and it's just that impressive and that's absolutely what we're going to look at today. This is a Ash Blast Overheat Pyro with a twist and uh, you definitely want to see the damage that this can push out. This is a build that's been out in the wild for a while. I finally got around to putting it together and it just blew my socks off. But if you do enjoy this video or if you find it useful in any way, please do consider giving it a like, subscribing to the channel, maybe sharing it with a buddy. It really does help the channel grow and it just means a whole lot to me. But without any further ado, let's go. firstly giving credit where it's due i did not create or think up this build it's been around for a while it's been out in the wilds for a while and this has been used to set some world records by full metal 5 which i'm linking in the description of this video but as far as i can tell the first person that built this or where this originates from is from a channel by someone called sir joseph i'm linking to them in the description as well definitely go check these guys out sir joseph has several attempts with this build and essentially uh, you know the way how he put it together whereas full metal uh, 5 anybody that's familiar with speed runs in this game should be quite familiar with who full metal is and he currently holds the world record for this if i'm not mistaken at least at the time of recording this video now i mentioned this is ash blast overheat with a twist and the twist comes in the fact that you're using volcanic rounds or more specifically a mod for volcanic rounds that when volcanic rounds wears off you have a huge boost 50 percent additional ap that's available to you and then just using the normal cycling mechanic that we have between ash blast and overheat you're able to push off far bigger numbers than you usually would see from a uh, cookie cutter i would say ash blast overheat and usually how you would build this is you would go the akari set and so we'd use the ramp up mechanic that comes from heat waves and burnt out and all of that but that all falls away with this because as i've mentioned we use volcanic rounds here and so therefore you also don't need the akari set anymore and this is actually built by just using five purple pieces now it is a little bit intense the amount of mods that you have to get to get just right to build this but once you actually get them all together and you get this package set up then you can really start seeing the big numbers that is pushing out now in the background right now the footage that you're seeing is me running this I think my second or my third attempt to this on boomtown now i'm playing like an absolute toolbox here because i am still learning how to play it but it is really really impressive just how fast this can do clears and how the big chunks of damage that this can do now to really have the shine you do also need to incorporate the reloading mechanic of moaning winds and radiation splash and all of that but even if you choose not to play with that mechanic because i do know a lot of people that watch my videos a lot of people that comment on the videos say you know i don't like moaning winds reload it's not cool i don't like using it so that's fine even if you don't do that you're, you're gonna see severely short so slower times in completing expeditions but it's still gonna be no slouch because the core mechanic and the way how you cycle up damage with this by you know getting volcanic rounds on maybe shooting once or twice to drop down a bunch of claymores then switching it out to another gun or even just emptying the whole mag out so volcanic rounds empties out by itself automatically then for 15 seconds you have this huge ap boost and while you're doing volcanic rounds while you're shooting you're proccing off uh your overheat to get phoenix force onto the overheat then your ash blast to hit everything with the status and then your second overheat which comes off cooldown quite quickly to deal all that damage and this does a huge amount of damage if you're playing solo you can often almost one hit elite completely where just one shot with claymore will essentially drop them and when we look at the actual build itself let's go ahead and check out skills first so as mentioned we are using volcanic rounds we're using ash blast and we're using overheat now you are stacking as much as possible cooldown reduction in this build as well as going top three so the point is that you are going to be looking at a 8.6 second ash blast and a 5.8 second overheat now both of these are you you kind of like your cycle as usual going volcanic rounds get the buff then go overheat ash blast overheat or i mean you go overheat volcanic rounds get the get the buff ash blast overheat something like that but your your core mechanic here is essentially overheat the first time because that gives you the phoenix force power as well as any potential other buffs that you might have ash blast to get the status on to all of them you also have a lot of status power on this build so it locks down the characters quite long in the ash 
uh, animation or with that status and then you hit him with the other overheat and that just does like a boatload of damage and when we look at the actual weapons itself again this is this is the configuration that is present on the original version of this bolt or let me also say on the version that's used to speed run this so while these weapons themselves are not needed to make this work since the core mechanic of the build actually revolves around those skills and the mods that we have for those skills this does accentuate the damage of the build though so a funeral pyre with shadow comet and claymore torrent is fantastic for just general ad clear and just the fact that it pulls all of those you know shadow comets and claymore torrents down onto stuff if you hit fire with the gun then, as I've mentioned, there is the Moaning Winds Radiation Splash configuration on here for cycling the weapon out. What, why it works so well, and that's the other reason that I can just say to anybody that automatically goes, no, I don't want Moaning Winds, is the point is you are going to switch on Volcanic Rounds, maybe shoot one or two or three rounds out with Volcanic Rounds to get the Shadow Comets and everything to drop. And in that time, you're clearing the distance to the nearest Elite or Captain. And then you simply switch to your secondary. Immediately, you get that 50% additional AP um, buff and you get a Moaning Winds and Radiation Splash, you know, sort of uh, wave out as well. So it's just a very big damage package that you can push out. Now, when it comes to the pistol, the original version of this also uses Kinetic Stomp and Clip Combustion. I have the mods that set up a little bit different on the guns. Uh, I don't use this at all, but the point here being that in between the time that you're waiting for Moaning Winds to come off Global Cooldown, you can still switch to another weapon and keep shooting to create these kinetic stomp pulses around you as well, because you're kind of like in short range, you're in close range to all the enemies, and so you can just deal additional damage out. Now, when we get to the actual armor, as I've mentioned, we're doing five purple pieces here. So with all five pieces, what you're looking for is anomaly power, status power, and cooldown reduction. You can go Anomaly Power, Cooldown Reduction, and Skills Life Leech on all of the pieces or some of them. But the point is, remember that Status Power not only makes your, your, your Ash last longer, but if, if you are able to, well, no, there's no way. Yeah, you are inflicting burn onto enemies with Volcanic Rounds if that is a thing. And that would also make those burns last longer. But the, the, the real shine of this is really not the volcanic rounds, the actual volcanic rounds. It's rather the effect that you get from the mod once you don't have volcanic rounds. But then when we look at the actual mods, we have detonator on here, which reduces our overheat cooldown by 50%. This is a staple mod that you usually see on normal cookie cutter Ash Blast overheat. We have Ashen Boost on here because you're going to be dealing a lot of damage. Your, your main oomph comes from that second overheat that consumes the, 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 the Ash effect off of all the enemies. And so this will just make a deal a lot more damage. Then on the chest, here's the, the, the mod that I was referring to. So Reload Boost says that a powerful 50% anomaly damage bonus is granted after the skill ends for 15 seconds. Now, the funny thing is you have a 14.5 second cooldown on Volcanic Rounds. So you can always have this additional 50% damage buff on if you are mindful of managing this cooldown and always having it be off cooldown. Now, then we also have Death Sentence on here, which is just an additional weapon damage and anomaly damage bonus against enemies that are affected by Ash Blast. This just gives them another 30% anomaly damage, which again is a huge boost for you. Then we have Empowerment on here. Now, this means that the skill deals an additional 50k damage. And we have Master Consume on here, which says that Overheat can consume both Burn, which comes from Volcanic Rounds, and it can consume ash which comes from ash blast if it consumes both of them the effect is actually increased so if you're able to set stuff on fire with either a melee or doing an aoe melee or hitting them with volcanic rounds or something like that then you know your overheat is just going to do that much more damage and this is a good thing to bear in mind when you're fighting bosses or elites or captains something like that now something interesting that was pointed out actually by one of the people that i usually run with roman wins is that the added benefit that you get from ash blast here is because it deals additional damage you can use this kind of like as a barometer to see uh, if you're not good at anticipating how overheat and ash blast overlap each other because overheat is an instant effect like a switch and it deals damage whereas ash blast is a wave that moves out so you can use this damage that it deals as a way for you to see as the wave moves out and gauge when you should drop your next overheat if you have trouble anticipating how long the ash blast takes however i do think that the muscle memory kicks in once you play the build for a while or especially if you've played ash blast overheat for a while that you'll kind of like just know okay cool a second to a second two has passed now so i can go ahead and overheat now when we get to the gloves itself we have ash increased range here this is imperative 
because by default ash blast has a much smaller range than your overheat and you kind of want them to have almost the same uh, amount of range so definitely you know uh, get this and then phoenix force phoenix force gives you an additional anomaly amount for every status that is consumed by overheat so this is a point that you when you overheat you get a lot of additional anomaly power stacked onto you and this stacks up to 10 so so you get like basically if you get all all, all 10 stacks you're getting like another 65k of anomaly power last but not least on the boots we have captain hunter um this build has no problem whatsoever in killing trash uh, 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 the only place where you will notice where you'll you'll start having to spend a little bit more attention on is elites captains and bosses and this just helps you deal more damage to them bullet kindling does help you deal more damage to stuff that's burning and so again if you aoe melee melee or shoot something with volcanic rounds or for that matter use a gun that sets stuff on fire which is absolutely something that you can also do if that's the kind of thing you're into then this is just also going to make you deal more damage against them now as mentioned when we go to the class tree well, my my fat head is a little bit in the way here but the bottom line is uh maybe maybe i should just go ahead and take my my head away just for this so let me do that quickly wow this is like the most professional i've ever been boom there we go okay cool so if you if you have a look you'll see we are dipping down into the bottom here picking up some anomaly nodes so that we can get up to wildfire wildfire gives us a 10 percent decrease in cooldowns across the board which is just phenomenal and then we're going along the top tree here because we do want to be picking up hot situation we are picking up additional you know uh, damage to you know anything that's affected by ash we're getting some resistance piercing we're getting ashes to ashes here that says whenever we ash something it's vulnerable as well so that also makes it take more damage then we also do pick up her twice as long which increases your damage against elites while decreasing their damage to you and then last but not least we do pick up these two nodes and this is why i hit my face because you have to pick up trial of ashes here and then you just pick up an additional cooldown over here that's it for the video guys let me know in the comments down below what you think of this build if you've built it already if i'm late to the party and you've already experimented with this and what you would change about it if you build it also on screen you'll see my streaming schedule i stream tuesdays and thursday nights at eight o'clock cet so definitely come check out on that and last but not least do remember to check out the discord link in the description of this video come and join our discord for a group of like-minded gamers that enjoy not only outriders but other games as well there's rooms where you can join up and play with other you know players play with other players it sounds weird and you can collaborate and share information and ask questions anything like that or get carries for that matter also at the moment right now we are running a uh community leaderboard event i think is the best way to call it where i am keeping track of the best times that people can finish in trios so come and join in the fun there see what times you can post see uh it's a little bit of camaraderie and and and, and showing off happening there but i'm really excited for what can still happen with this um myself i'm also taking part in this event and uh, it's just a fun thing it's a, it's a great way for us to continue on playing this game now that there's not really any new content right now available on the horizon but thank you so much for watching especially if you made it this far it is just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning a great afternoon and a super awesome evening wherever you are in the world and until next video fucking cheers they want the best of me now best of me now best of me now best of me they want the best of me now best of me now best of me now best of me they want